our hearts to thanks and praise for the gift of living in the presence of the spirit that animates all life and in the knowledge that we are powerfully, profoundly connected to all that is, all that has been, and all that will be. This morning, we celebrate 20 years of Mark's, Mark Freund's music ministry at UUCG and to wish him well in his retirement, wherever it takes him. Mark, you're on. There we go. Yeah. Getting there. First we sing, then we understand. It is so simple. What else can be said? What else needs to be said? The author of this simple phrase has turned six words into a complete, albeit succinct, but still a complete sermon. From this perspective, Rabbi Joshua Heschel invites music to open our hearts and prepare our innermost selves before any level of true comprehension can be made. The heart needs to be engaged before connections can be made. This morning, I have a few stories to share with you about creating worship with music. While there is no wizard hiding behind a curtain like in The Wizard of Oz, there are many magical moments that happen all the time during a service. This morning, I would like to share a few stories from behind that musical curtain. In the mid 2000s, I was asked to create an arrangement of the African American spiritual When the Spirit Says Do for the upcoming release of the Singing the Journey the teal hymnal. I waited patiently for the snail mail to arrive, email and file attachments were not commonplace then. When the large envelope arrived, I made my way quickly to my piano to try out the melodic line, which I did not recognize, oh, excuse me, which I did recognize. There were no instructions, only a small half sheet of paper with the melody some text and the description zipper song. Zipper song, zipper song, zipper song was fun to say. And I started repeating those two words. After a while, I took a break and called a musician friend of mine who explained that the zipper song meant only that one or two words would change in the text from verse to verse. It was like a light bulb had turned on with clarity. Somehow I jumped from repeating zipper song, zipper song, zipper song, zipper song to zoot, 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 zoot. <sighs> By that time, my left hand was already playing the descending bass line reminiscent of the music Duke Ellington had created in the early 1920s at the famed Cotton Club in Harlem, New York. This arrangement is an homage to Edward Duke Ellington. As a side note, a few years later, I played piano for Mercedes Ellington, the granddaughter of Duke Ellington for two nights with the Greensboro Symphony Orchestra. Wherever a service is created, there is music. It could be on a patio, a labyrinth, a parking lot, a laptop mouse clicking its way toward a Zoom room or a sun-filled sanctuary, there is always music. The choir and I collaborated on this zipper song, offering words of positive action that we are both striving for as we begin to say goodbye. to sing when the spirit says sing you've got 
to work when the Spirit says work. You've got to work when the Spirit says work. When the Spirit says work, you've got to work, oh Lord. You've got to work when the Spirit says work. Spirit says work. Spirit says work. Spirit says work. What a beautiful Sunday morning it was. I was driving home from my early service gig at Starmount Presbyterian Church. I had two church jobs prior to UUCG, Starmount Presbyterian and Cathedral of His Glory, a non-denominational charismatic church complete with services videotaped to be aired multiple times during the week on our local channel cable TV. The sun was bright, the sky was clear, the windows were down, the air was brisk, the heat was up, the radio was on loud enough for even fellow drivers to clearly hear the announcer say, if you now call, if you call now, there are still a few WFDD mugs available during this spring fun drive. 
What followed was a radio report from our local NPR station on how religiously diverse the Bible Belt was becoming. A congregant from the Chapel Hill Fellowship was being interviewed about Unitarian Universalism. With each passing response, I was more and more elated to learn that such a church exists. Soon thereafter, I attended my first UU service sometime in spring 2000, and thus began my service with Unitarian Universalism. In the fall, I was asked by then UUCG President Elsie Hutchins to lead the choir for two months, January and February 2001, to fill in for a substitute who could not finish his obligation. Interim Minister Reverend Angie Tyson convinced me to apply, though I was clear about not having had any choral directing experience. I am humbled that the search committee saw something in me that I was not able to see myself. I accepted the position of Director of Music March 1, 2001. Susan Hill stubbornly insisted on requiring me to attend the Unitarian Universalist Musicians Network National Conference. This conference became the highlight of my church year. I am grateful for Susan's insistence on attending. And I'm grateful for the Reverend Marion Stewart, who generously donating her frequent flyer miles to me so I could continue to attend the next year's UUMN conference in Vancouver, Canada. This annual gathering with lots of singing, professional development, friendship making, has also fed me spiritually. Creating worship and participating in worship are completely different. When one is creating worship for others and with others, your purpose is to serve in providing the space, mood, and feel for those gathered. When participating in worship, one has the freedom to lose oneself in any part of the worship experience. It was at my first conference that the hymn number 89, Over My Head, found me. The focus of the 2001 conference at the mountain was to explore our relatively new hymnal, Singing the Living Tradition, released in 1993, the Gray Hymnal. During one of the singing sessions led by guest clinician Ken Nafziger, a community song leader from the Mennonite tradition, I found myself completely overwhelmed and sobbing. I could feel the energy of the power of community singing wash over me as the rest of the room sang over my head. As a youngster, I sang in the Durham Boys Choir until my voice changed at age 12. I hadn't realized until that moment that I was still in mourning for having lost my first soprano voice and being told what a shame, what a shame you have lost your beautiful voice, such a shame. I cried until there were no more tears. It was a powerfully cathartic moment. I truly heard music over my head as the community singing continued. I truly saw angels over my head as my friends and colleagues stood around me and took turns comforting me as they rested their hands on my shoulders. Whenever I need strength, this hymn washes over me. I invite you now to join me in our hymn, Over My Head, 
The words will be in the chat. Over my head, I hear music in the air. Over my head, I hear music in the air. Over my head, I hear music in the air. There must be a God somewhere. I hear singing over my head. I hear singing in the air. Over my head. I hear singing in the air. Over my head. I hear singing in the air. There must be a God somewhere. I see trouble over my head. I see trouble in the air. Over my head. I see trouble in the air. Over my head. I see trouble in the air. There must be a God somewhere. I feel gladness over my head. I feel gladness in the air. Over my head. I feel gladness in the air. Over my head, I feel gladness in the air. There must be a God somewhere. I see angels over my head. I see angels in the air. Over my head. I see angels in the air. Over my head, I see angels in the air. There must be a God I invite you now to offer the names of those people on your hearts, living or dead, near or far, that this community might hold them in prayer and in love. If you are in need of some extra tenderness today, you can type your own name in the chat. Nick DeVitchie. Mark, Nick and Charlotte, Arthur, Nathan Loudermilk, Joyce Allen, Nand Deland, Charlotte Hamlin, Danny Robinson and family, Stacy, Gilly, Nick, Mark, Pat Jacobs, David Emery, Katie's mom, Dakota Spooner, Nick and Charlotte DeVitchi. Eric Eno, Stephen Reinhardson, Suzanne Kolb's mom, Joyce Allen, Dennis Hands, Larry Graham, Red, Gladys McNatt, Mark and family, Antigua's family, 
Dad and Lynn's family, Helen Renee, Connie Whedon, Kevin Houck. Roger Galloway, Linda Sullivan's mom, Ann Dickinson's stepdaughter. Liz and Jack Harrell, Gloriana Locklear, Francis Bland. We lift up those who are sorrowful within our community and outside, knowing that sorrows shared are burdens eased. There is space for your sorrow here. If there's a word of sorrow on your heart, you may lift it up in silence or type it in the chat. Our beloved Nick DeVici died on Tuesday evening. Reverend Nelson Stover and I officiated a small burial service for him on Thursday in accordance with his very precise wishes. A larger memorial service will be announced when we've coordinated with his family. And our prayers are with Nick and his wife, Charlotte, and their family and friends. Elisa. We celebrate the joys among us, which are magnified when they are shared, and which are especially crucial to share when there is sorrow. Your joy does not diminish another's pain. If there is a word of joy on your heart, you may lift it up in silence or type it in the chat. For spring, Seeing Karen Madrone, Liz's successful liver transplant. Music, still being alive, quick vaccines. For Mark's, Mark's next chapter, for house music and Penelope, for renewed connections with family, for more family, 12 year anniversary, second vaccine, Amelia's dad's 82nd birthday, family and friends, seeing Michael Tino, celebrating a new job, the garden and lilacs and transitions and music and everyone for seeing our friends again under so much isolation and separation, for the ability to still connect virtually, for hugging friends, So many renewed connections and the feeling of safety spreading among us, hugging each other after a year apart. We send all of these prayers, spoken and silent, 
up to the love that holds us all. During these next few minutes of silence, you can focus on something you're grateful for, someone you're remembering especially today, or just the sensation of your chair supporting you. Will you find a comfortable place in your seat and taking a few easy breaths as we settle into this shared silence together? Will you pray with me? Spirit of life and love, God of many names and no name, source of all, we know you especially in song and in silence, in the love of community, family, friendship, partnership, or in the longing for love not realized, or in the aching for love lost. On this day, we pray especially for Mark, for his well being, spiritual fulfillment, rest, and restoration in this next phase of his life. Help us to remember that each change contains unfolding possibility. Help us to mourn when we need to mourn and to celebrate when we need to celebrate. Help us to cherish the lessons from these 20 years and to keep them in our hearts like a flame that doesn't go out. Strengthen us for change. Prepare us for what is still unknown. Accompany us in the uncertain and unfolding future. Remind us through your insistent presence that we are never alone. These things we ask for ourselves, for those we love, and for those we do not love, amen.
I became acquainted with the piece, Who Can Sail? as I was one of the accompanists for the North Carolina Summer Institute for Choral Arts for 10 years. There it was performed using children's voices. I fleshed it out for a full adult choir. The text is emotional by itself and adding singing intensifies this much beloved piece by UUCG's Chalice Choir. There are so many things I would like to say and people to thank and people to apologize to, but the words are all jumbled in my head. So I ask that you listen to what my heart has to say. in a beautiful final meeting this week with Mark and the choir. We asked choir members to talk about some of their favorite music and what making music with Mark has taught them. And over and over, I heard the choir say that Mark helped them believe in themselves and do things they never thought they could do. Sing more complicated music in more languages, clap and sing at the same time, clap on two and four, play with, ryth with rhythm, improvise, wait on the spirit. Some of them had stopped singing for years before Mark welcomed them into the choir. And so these questions linger with us, asked by this next piece, hummed and belted, what have we done so much? And what shall we do? Carry on these lessons and these memories, even though we are entering this intentional period of a year completely apart. So what shall we do? First, we'll sing and then we'll understand. Sing when the spirit says sing. We'll sing grief and goodbyes. We'll sing hellos and blessings and questions. We'll sing ourselves into new possibilities filled with the breath of the spirit and taught so well by Mark these 20 years. I have been asked many times over the years which piece is your favorite? While 
all of them is a good stock answer, there is one piece that comes to mind. Senzanina. It is a South African song that uses both Zulu and English, common chords for harmonies, repetitive vocal accompaniment, yet still draws me in with its short two lines of text that ask profoundly deep questions. Senzanina, what have we done? Sono Setu, what? will we do? Okay. This is the time in our service where we offer this litany of gratitude and release. So congregation, I invite you to stay muted, but to join me out loud in our shared refrain. For this first part, it's we give our most heartfelt thanks. For 20 years of leading us in decorating time together. We give our most heartfelt thanks. For creating a space of beauty and tenderness, challenge and comfort. We give our most heartfelt thanks. Susan, you're muted. Susan, you're muted. For your dedication in holding us together through song, especially when it felt like all might fall apart. We give our most heartfelt thanks. For showing us how to wait for the muse and teaching us that the spirit takes its own time. We give yeah, our, our most, most heartfelt, heartfelt thanks. thanks. Our shared refrain. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Mark. I accept your thanks with love. Our shared refrain changes now to we release you, which you are invited to say out loud with me. From your role of cat herder, anxiety queller, tension diffuser. We release you. From the Ministry of Teaching Us All How to Listen Better, Choir and Congregation, so that we could sing more beautifully. We release you. From the Ministry of Leading Us in Lending Beauty to Joy and Tragedy Alike. We release you. From the Ministry of Helping Us Week After Week, Year After Year to sing the things we could not say. We, we release, release you. With unspeakable gratitude for these 20 years, I leave our ministry together.
One of the ways that we live out our mission to create loving community is to contribute financially to the ministries of this congregation and to the good work of our community partners. Our offering for the time being goes to Greensboro Mutual Aid, which provides direct cash assistance to people who request it. This is assistance that should have been provided at the federal level for a problem that was preventable a year ago but we will do our part to fill the gap and to care for our neighbors. If you'd like to make a contribution via PayPal to the church for our offering to be split with Greensboro Mutual Aid, you can do so at the link in our chat and indicate COVID in the memo line. You can also mail a check. Our offering will now be gratefully received. The days be dark with storms and burdens weigh my heart. Will troubles wait? Breathe. 
join me for our chalice extinguishing words. We extinguish this flame, but not the light of truth, the warmth of community, or the fire of commitment. These we carry in our hearts until we are together again. As we leave, this time together set apart from the rest of our week. Go lifted up by the beauty created even in this way, even in these times. Go in gratitude for these 20 years of music ministry with Mark and go in hope for new possibility for us all. Amen. I invite you all now to turn your view to gallery view. It's in the top right-hand corner and to turn your cameras on because Mark is going to lead us in singing Shalom Havarim one last time. Peace to you, all of my friends, until we meet again. Shalom Havarim, Shalom Havarim, Shalom, Shalom. La hit raot, la hit raot, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom Havarim, Shalom Havarim, Shalom. Mark, we lost you because you're muted. How's this? Better. Do it again. Great. <laughs> Greatest hits take 241. Here we go. Shalom Havarim, Shalom Havarim, Shalom, Shalom. La hit out, la hit out, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom Havarim, Shalom Havarim, Shalom, Shalom. La hit out, la hit out, Shalom, Shalom.